One of my most frequent questions is, can I copy a blend shape and have it just be the head, or do I always constantly have to take the entire body? Um, technically, yes, you can copy over just the head. However, there are a handful of steps in the procedure that have to be done in a specific order to get it to function properly, or else you can spend 16 hours doing all these fantastic blend shapes and not have them work. They'll basically turn your mesh into a spiky ball of death, and there's nothing we can do to salvage it. So. If you are interested in copying over just the head for blend shapes, make sure that when you're done with the process that you test it because you want to make sure that your base head functions properly. The beginning steps aren't all that hard. What we want to do is find a nice edge loop that we want to separate the model on. And so for this particular mesh, I'm going to select this edge because I think that looks like a pretty good separation point. I am going to switch over to polygons. I'm going to edit the mesh by detaching component. So what this is going to do is if I take my mesh and come up to mesh and go to separate, it is going to separate that object along that line, along that detached edge. So now I have my separate head and my body. What I want to do is duplicate the head, and I'm going to move that off to the side. Big thing to keep in mind here is not to freeze transforms. This is our blend shape, so we need to maintain this distance. So just remember that blend shapes, you do not freeze. The next most important thing is to make sure that you select your head first and then your body when you combine the mesh back together. I, right now, am going to show you the wrong way to do it so you can see what happens. I'm going to select my body, then select the head, and I'm going to combine everything back together. Keep in mind, this is the wrong way. When I take my default head shape and try to apply it as a blend shape, I'm going to switch over to animation, create deformers. I'm going to create a blend shape. Right now I'm going to call it test. I personally use front of chain, so I'm going to make sure that setting's right. And I need to check off the check topology box since I do not have the rest of my mesh, the torso and arms on my blend shape. It's going to give me an error if I leave check topology on. But I'm going to go ahead and apply this and close. And so now when I try using my blend shape, see, I get spiky ball of death. The reason this happens is when we com combined the mesh back together, the vertex for the body, the vertex naming remained the same while the head changed. And blend shapes are based on vertex name. So if this head has different vertexes than this head, the blend shape is not going to work, which is what we can see here. When I try to turn the blend shape on, oops, it, it just does not want to function properly. So I'm going to undo back to when I combined everything together, and I'm going to select the head first and then the body. This is the correct way to do it. We want the head to maintain its vertex naming while the body changes. So again, I'm going to switch over to polygons, go to mesh and combine. And now I can take the head, my base blend shape head and apply it to my body mesh. Go to animation, create deformers, blend shape. And again, I will call this test make sure it's front of chain and check topology is off. And I'm going to go ahead and apply. So now if I've done this right, there should be no shifting in my face. And when I change this to one, we can see the mesh does not move at all, which is correct. Since this is default and this is default, there should be no changing. If I super, super want to test it, I can leave it at one, come over to my blend shape, and let's just go ahead and grab a couple or a handful of vertexes. And let's do soft select and change my brush size. 
and there I can see that my blend shape is affecting my base mesh and so it is functioning properly. The other thing to keep in mind is that once you bind your character, you cannot delete history, or rather you can't delete all history. What you would have to do is come up to edit, delete by type, non-deformer history. And that works really good in some instances. However, when we combined our head and our body back together, we got this poly unite node which in itself seems pretty innocent. Oh, it's just, you know, another input. We can get rid of that with the non-deformer history, except that you can't. So anything at polyunite or after it, such as any merge verts that you do, will not be removed with your non-deformer history. They will constantly be there, and when you're deforming your mesh, Maya is going to have to calculate all of those inputs as you're deforming, so your rig can run really, really, really slow. Best practice here is once you combine everything back together and merge all your verts, be doubly sure that you come in and you delete history. We do not want anything over here once we're done. So now I can go ahead and apply my blend shape as I need to. Um, but for the most part, that's really all there is to it. It's just making sure that you select your head and then your body when you combine, and that once you're done combining everything and merging all your verts, that you delete history. It's also very important that you check to make sure that your head works properly as a blend shape because if it doesn't, if this base head does not work, every blend shape that we make off of it is going to be incorrect as well. So a handful of things to keep in mind, but overall it's a fairly simple process. So if you guys have any questions during lab, feel free to flag me down and I can sit and, and help you through it.